Hello. In this second video, we're going to look at the voice, the instrument that we all have within us. And we're going to look at how we can best enable it to do its work. Good evening, everyone. What we're going to do now is warm up our voices and really enable this instrument that we have within us to, to do its work. So we'll start with a good stretch so that the body can be nice and loose, up to the ceiling. And follow me. Very good. And then back in the other direction, like a field of corn. Fantastic. Feel the muscles stretching along the side of the body as you do this. That's great. Not too many creaks or groans. That's marvellous. Good work, everyone. And let the arms fall. Lovely. Give the shoulders a really good roll now. Deep roll. And then contrary motion. One going in the other direction. Loosen them up. Then change direction. Good work. And then let them hang nice and loose. Loosen the hands as well. Very good. Big yawn now, as if you've just got off a very long haul flight. Oh. Good. Draw in a deep breath and really let it resonate. Oh. Excellent. Let's make it a happy yawn now. Oh. Now a sad yawn. Oh. Very good. And this time a happy yawn, and we'll just turn the head around as we do it. Oh. oh, excellent, very good. Now I want you to loosen up your knees. Make sure your feet are apart at sort of five to one and then bend the knees a little, just like this. And back up again, a little bit further down. This time we're going to go down and we're going to keep the back straight. Feel a line up the back into the neck. Okay, so down again, thinking of that back nice and straight and up again. Let the, hangs, the hands hang down in front of you. Again, down again and back up again, keeping the knees nice and loose. Singing is a little bit like playing tennis, I suppose. If you look at tennis players, they have a marvelous way of keeping their feet still, but the body is, is nice and loose and flexible over the top. That's good. Next thing we're going to do is loosen up the face. So we'll warm up the hands, first of all. And then, on the cheeks, a good cheek massage right back into the, where the jaw joins. We'll do some lip trills now to keep the, the front of the face very loose, like this. On a good breath. Lovely. Sound a little bit more equestrian, if you can. Good. And very long one this time. Excellent. Nice and loose at the front. Now we're going to do a, a tongue trill. This is a And we can begin to swoop it up and down a little bit. So, a good breath and a tongue trill. Going up and down. Good. Try not to let the sound disappear at the bottom. Keep good tone and a good energy in, in this tongue trill when you swoop down as well. So big swoops up and down this time. Good breath. Good. I can see your head's going up and down. This is very good. Keep the head level, like St. John the Baptist's head when it was brought into Salome, just sitting on the plate. Okay? Let's do that again, keeping the head nice and level and the neck nice and loose. And... Very good. And let's turn that into sound, everyone. We'll just do a little arpeggio with the sixth added like this. A tongue trill and let's do a little check on those knees some of you are looking as if you're standing to attention keep the knees nice and loose and just give a little feel a little bit of give at the top of this arpeggio just on the top note let's go again one two three
That's it. Much better sound at the top. Very good. Let's do a shoulder check. It's still nice and loose. Knee check. Good. And just another quick check here that you're feeling nice and loose here as well. Good. We'll do a little bit of breathing now. I'd like you to imagine that you're smelling something really nice. A bunch of roses or baking just out of the oven. Something that really engages your mind and your senses as well. So take in a deep sniff for me. You will look terribly solemn as if you're smelling something rather less savoury, like <laughs> the compost bin or last week's rubbish or something. Can you think of something nice when you sniff in? And and release through the lips. Good. Another sniff in. This time keep the shoulders nice and loose for me. And draw in the breath low. Really suck it in low. Draw it in low. This time a short breath. And it's going to be through the mouth. And I want you to imagine that you've just had a really nice surprise. It's what we call the happy surprise breath, okay? You've just opened the envelope and found a cheque for some unimaginable amount of money, or suddenly a new car has appeared in your front driveway. Think of something really, really nice as you take in a quick breath for me. And release on a s Very good. This time, happy surprise breath with relaxed shoulders. Good, and this time draw it in low. Keep the shoulders loose, draw it in low. Feel the throat open, and not too much gasping, just... Very good, everyone. Lovely. This time we're going to, do have, we're going to exhale on three short, sharp S's. So just three short S's like that. So, happy surprise in, and... Good. Can you make sure that the inhalation connects to the exhalation? So you don't hold it and then release, but it connects to the first S. Let's try that again. And, and connect. Good. Now we need to get these muscles really working for us. I think some people are still too energetic here. We need to be energetic here, everyone. So can you put your hands here like this for me? And on those S's, I want you to feel how much these muscles can do. Okay? So we'll try that again. Here we go with a happy surprise in. Front and back this time. And the sides. Good. Can you feel, when you take in the breath, can you feel what is really quite a strong movement? And these muscles are actually quite strong. These are the intercostal muscles which connect with the diaphragm. And if we let them, they will draw in a huge amount of breath for us. Okay? But I want that sense of release in that inhalation. When we breathe in, that sense of releasing those muscles so they can draw in the breath. Let's just think about that a little bit more. And imagine, if you will, a sort of a splat. Okay? That those muscles are going to go whoop, splat down. Here we go. Happy surprise in. And splat. And a big long S. Get rid of all of the air. Excellent work. OK, just to get those muscles working a little bit further, we'll do happy birthday to an SH. Shh, 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 and so on. Let's try it like that. So not singing, just SH. After two, uh, one, two. Shh, 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 shh. Check me working. Shh, 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 shh. Take it aside. And long. Good. It's good to see those shoulders now relaxing. I'm not seeing so much movement there, and I'm getting the feeling that we're really working from there. Excellent work, everyone. Let's go back now to that triad we were using earlier, and we'll use this now to explore um, a little bit of resonance. We've got to get the resonance going in the head particularly, so that the sound can really resonate. So we'll just start with humming again. Humming up and down, and then coming on to the vowel R. So up and down, humming, and then ah. Keep your lips nice and loose. So it's not a mmm hum, but a mmm hum. Let's try it. One and breath.
looks slightly like a sort of threatening hum. Mmm. Could it be a, a more relaxed hum, a nice hum? Mmm. Okay, again, think of something nice. Think of, shall we say, an inner smile inside the head. Mmm. Inner smile with the hum. Ready and breath, then. Good, and let the hum give into the vowel. Into the vowel. Good. In a smile. And. Good. Nice resonance happening, everyone. Let's work a little bit now on the soft palate. Okay, this is this marvelous thing we have at the back of the mouth, which we can raise, which we should raise when we sing. And it gives us much, much better, richer vowel sounds. So we're going to do that using the NG sound. Mm, as in the middle of the word singing. Mm. We'll take another arpeggio, the same thing, but we're going to go up and down on an NG now rather than humming. And then when you come onto the vowel, there's actually quite a small movement there when the soft palate allows the vowel to happen. So just feel that mm, connecting to the R ah sound. Here we go. And again, think of that happy surprise, but we'll do it through the nose this time. Three and... NG and R. NG. Good. Just make sure that the, the cheeks are still nice and loose and the jaw is relaxed okay and when you're on the ng sound don't have any tension here really let the jaw fall mm. Mm. don't be worried about your mouth being uh, too wide as it were don't feel oh my goodness you know a fly is going to come in or something just let it be as as relaxed as it needs to be ng everyone one and two and and down that's good a buzz between the ears now okay because that's where the sound is really going to resonate for us mm, feel that buzz there let's just say it first of all and mm, put your hands here okay and feel the sound between the ears and mm, very nice keep the hands there you all look great that's fantastic <laughs> I tried a camera ng and r and feel the sound between the hands and breath then Very good. One more. Sound. Hands away, but keep the feeling. Keep that inner smile. Good. Now we've got great resonance this way. Let's begin to feel the resonance this way now. There's quite, a, there's quite a distance between the soft palate here and the larynx, okay? And when we sing, we want the soft palate raised, but we want the larynx as low as possible when we sing, okay? The NG sound is very good for getting that. So I just want you to feel that length now, that distance between here and here, okay? And that's where, if we can get the resonance going, we get lovely richness of tone. And also feel the, the space above as well, okay? Feel that you've got an upper floor there or a piano lid, as it were, that you're opening, okay? Just so that we get some resonance above, too. So, lots of images there, okay? Choose one of them that works for you, and here we go. On the NG, one, and breath, then. So think tall. Excellent work. Now, we're getting quite high here, particularly for the basses and the altos, but I want you to start thinking about uh, this line not being a, a vertical thing, but a horizontal thing. So can you do this for me? Just do a figure of eight like this with one hand. Yeah. Make it swirl a little bit, okay? And we're just going to do an arpeggio up and down. And we're going to do this motion with, our, with one hand, just to make it swirl, okay? We're going to choose two vowels for this. Ah, eh, ah, eh, ah. So this is a good exercise for loosening the tongue. Ah, eh, ah, eh, ah, eh, ah. Up and down on that arpeggio and feeling the figure of eight on the horizontal. Here we go. 
one and two and I and actually I know what will work. Just a circle. Just stir the pot. Yes. Let's try that. I think that's easier. Here we go. But I I keep the jaw nice and loose. I I okay. It's just the tongue moving and the jaw is relaxed. One and stirring the pot and. Be a little bit more energetic about your stirring. That's good. Keep the knees loose while you do it. And. And. Some great stirring there. I can see you're going to be really in action on Stir Up Sunday there with the Christmas puddings. Very good work, everyone. So we've got some nice resonance going there. Finally, just the five pure vowel sounds that we use in singing, particularly when we're singing in Latin, but also in other languages as well, and that's e, a, a, o, u, okay? And I want you to say that now with a little bit of length for me in connecting those five sounds, and e, a, a, o, u. Good, I just want to put your hands here and feel what happens to the jaw when you say those five sounds. Give each one a little bit of length. E, a, a, o, u. Yeah. So the jaw should be relaxed from the start. Don't be tight on the E sound. Let it be nice and loose. Okay, hands away. And we're just going to sing. One and two and. doing before just think about the tongue a little bit e a r e a r just feel the tongue where the tongue is as you sing those three sounds one and breath and open up the top Finally, ladies and gentlemen, just a little bit on diction so that we can get all of the dental equipment going uh, so that we come to rehearsing text. Um, we're really loosened up here. Let's take um, the phrase copper bottomed coffee pot and sing it in a downward scale, starting on this note here and then coming down on a copper bottomed coffee pot on each note with all those final consonants, particularly those D's, very carefully pronounced. Are we ready? A one and two and. <laughs> Now, I can't really make out what you're singing. It sounds marvellously sort of general, okay? Copper-bottomed coffee pot. Copper-bottomed coffee pot. See if you can get those final Ds. Copper-bottomed coffee pot, okay? Here we go again. A little bit faster. A one and two. Very good, very good. And now for the voiced consonants, can you say for me minimum, 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 Keep the sound going on the M's. Minimum, 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 Very good. And sing it to the William Tell Overture. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
this. <laughs> it's got to be a little bit more of a gallop. That was a rather sedate canter, wasn't it? Can we really see if we can energise the front of the mouth now? Because this is really important that this is nice and loose and energised, particularly as we've got sort of lots of resonance around here as well. So, minimum, 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 minimum. Let's say it first of all. One, two, three. Minimum, 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 minimum. That's it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Bravo, well done.